The information that will come from personalized medicine, individualized health, the personal genome is really um, almost unimaginable. Huge power. But when we do a full genome sequence, we're going to find out much more than just about your predictive risk for diabetes, say. We're going to find out whether you have a risk for Alzheimer's disease. And how do we decide what we look at when? And who will have access that we want and maybe don't want to have access to our very personal information? There are a number of private companies now that will do genetic testing on individuals for a relatively small fee, a few hundred dollars. It's not a full genome sequence, but it's a, a pretty wide array of, of genetic information. And it turns out not to be a great business model, at least so far it hasn't taken off. And at some point those companies will likely not survive. And when they liquidate, they sell off their assets. And, and the courts have actually determined that among their assets are the data that they have collected over the course of their doing business. And that data is actually genetic information, at least among that data. And so it, it, the courts have so far ruled that that's theirs to sell. So when you sign up for these services, you, you lose control of that information in a very real way, at least so far. So that's one of the things that people don't think about and really wouldn't have thought about and policymakers have not had to take on. So we need to work on the issues and make sure that we don't fall prey to the pitfalls while we access all this really powerful benefit.